So in the previous movie, I have already computed a traverse closure, and part of that process was also a way of setting my options for performing a traverse balance. Now I'd like to show you how we can perform first an angular balance, and then a compass rule balance. So currently, our uh, initial setup is represented by the red line, and our closing setup is represented by the white line. And so you'll see that their bearings are slightly different. That uh, reflects the angular misclosure. So we can fix that by going to Traverse menu, and we're going to perform an angle balance. So this will trigger point protection. What's happening here is you'll notice that the traverse file contents are not being adjusted at all. It's only moving the points. So I'll select each of the overwrites. Everything is being recomputed according to the balanced, angular balance traverse. And now we can confirm that. Notice how the bearing is the same in both the initial setup and the closing setup. And you'll also notice that because we're using smart line work, all of the side tie points have been recomputed, and you'll see that their bearings and distances have been adjusted. Next, we're going to do a compass method adjustment. This is also referred to as a Bowditch method adjustment. Select this option, and again, it's only moving the points. You'll notice that your traverse has not changed. And we'll do overwrite on each, but this time I'll just uncheck and perform all the overwrites. So now, when I zoom in on the location where we used to have two separate setups, now we've just got one. You'll see that 1 and 101 are right on top of each other. And you'll see the same thing with 2 and 102. Now one other thing that's important to point out, because the traverse was never adjusted, if I ever need to undo any balancing, then I can just go to Edit, Recoordinate Traverse. It will recompute all the points in their original positions. Thanks for your interest in traverse balancing and angular balancing.